In this video, we shall look into the following facets of the famous Himalayan yogi Sri Haida Khan Wale Baba. 1. Who was Haida Khan Wale Baba? 2. Mahavatar Babaji and Haida Khan Wale Baba. 3. The appearance of the Jyoti. 4. Love of the localites towards Haida Khan Wale Baba. 5. Babaji establishes ashrams. 6. Babaji leaves the mortal world. Sri Haida Khan Wale Baba is a famous religious figure in Northern India. Popularly known as Babaji, he earned love and respect from his followers throughout his life. In return, they kept his memories and teachings alive even after his departure. His followers considered Babaji to be a Mahavatar or the human manifestation of the Supreme. Some accounts state that Babaji is identical to Sri Mahavatar Babaji. Everybody knows Sri Mahavatar Babaji as the Param Guru in the line of Sri Paramahamsa Yogananda who wrote the all-time bestseller Autobiography of a Yogi. However, there are various disputes among sections of the spiritual societies regarding this claim. It will not be wrong to claim that Sri Haida Khan Wale Baba's life is a complete synonym for miracles. Now, without delay, let us talk about the miraculous life of Sri Babaji. Another yogi known as Tatwale Baba was a popular yogi of the Uttarakhand region. Watch our video, Who is Tatwale Baba? Miracles of Himalayan Yogi Tatwale Baba to know more. You all will be quite astonished to learn that Haida Khan Wale Babaji did not take birth from the womb of a woman. These are the claims of his dear most devotees. He appeared in a cave at the foothills of the Kumau Mount Kailash across the Ganga River in 1970. The cave was located in the Haida Khan village of Uttarakhand. From there, he got his name. However, according to some records, people say that Babaji originally arrived in the 1800s. He appeared in the region of Uttarakhand 80 kilometers towards East Nainital. Once the villagers of that region witnessed a divine spark or jyoti traveling on top of the hill, the sacred jyoti grew larger before it seemed to vanish. People again observed this phenomenon a few days later. The villagers were pious. They understood that these incidents signified the appearance of a deity. So all the villagers gathered around the hill and sang bhajans or devotional songs. They were devotees after all. Watch our video, The Three Types of Devotees in Bhakti incarnations and expansions of Lord Krishna to know more about devotion. The following day, the Jyoti again appeared and from it emerged a mystical youth. The body and limbs of the lad indicated that he would be not more than 20 years old. The naive villagers became awestruck and some of them even turned emotional. They approached the young boy and requested him to say with Dhan Singh, the forest guard of that region. People addressed the boy as Babaji. Soon Dhan Singh along with the villagers became attached to Babaji. Before going to work, Dhan Singh would lock Babaji in his room. He would do so fearing Babaji would leave the village without informing them. Such actions indicated deep love for Babaji and nothing else. They did not want him to go. Once, as usual, Dhan Singh left our work locking Babaji in his house. But to his surprise, when he returned, he could not find Babaji anywhere. The villagers failed to understand this. If Babaji could appear from a Jyoti, what could stop him from disappearing? Such was his Siddhi. After some years, Babaji appeared once again in 1970 in the cave of Hiryakhand village. In the Fadi language, Hiryakhand means pious land. The senior citizens of that village have discussed the miraculous stories of Babaji which they had heard from their parents. There is an interesting story related to the ashram and temple Babaji built. With the help of the villagers, Babaji would mark certain areas of the rock and ask the villagers to carve out slabs from those rocks. Even Babaji would take part in the nitty-gritty of the temple building with others. Then Babaji installed a three-phase Shivalingam and then performed the Prana Pratishta. 
Dear viewers, Spirit Meaning Channel needs your help. Throughout the year, we conduct various initiatives like providing food to animals, supplying monthly groceries to old women, and planting trees close to the sacred Govardhan mountain near the birthplace of Lord Krishna. Your selfless donations will help us reach out to the needy. The Bhagavad Gita describes seva or such service as an act of pure goodness in this age of Kali. So by whatever means possible, please consider donating to the number displayed on the screen below. You can do this via Google Pay, Phone Pay or Paytm. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Prana Pratishta means to infuse or invoke a deity into the Vigraham or deity idol. This temple had a unique structure which nobody would find anywhere else. Some people could even hear the breathing of Lord Shiva in the Shivalinga. Babaji never left his cave and would spend countless hours in meditation. His devotees often recalled the divine routine which Babaji followed daily. Haida Khanwale Babaji started his daily routine around 3 am. He would bathe in the cold waters of the Ganga followed by meditation and fire sacrifices. And around 5 am, he would meet his followers for the Chandan ceremony or the Tilak applying practice. Later, at 6 am, the whole ashram would gather to perform the Arati. After that, until noon, everybody would be busy doing some form of seva. Thereafter, the people would consume prasad and again resume seva. Sometimes, Babaji would hold elaborate fire rituals or havan. Then Babaji would give darshan to his devotees during the evening followed by arati. Before the arati, Babaji and his followers would bathe and clean themselves. Then Babaji would give short sermons or spiritual discourses. People have recorded these discourses in the book the teachings of Babaji. Time passed and Babaji became popular. His radiance and aura attracted people from all over. Most of Babaji's followers were from the elite community belonging to the aristocratic class. In Sri Yogananda's book, Autobiography of a Yogi, he talks about the various pastimes of Babaji with Shama Lahiriji. Whenever Babaji held fire sacrifices, instead of offering clarified butter into the fire, he would offer water directly into the fire. Strangely, the fire would rise above 8 to 10 meters high. This news spread like wildfire all over the region. In Rani Khet, there lived a school principal Christian by birth. When he heard this news, doubts filled his mind. He wanted to verify this news and went to see Babaji's miracles. To his surprise, he realized that this news wasn't a rumor but a verifiable fact. With his own eyes, he saw the sacrificial fire rise whenever Babaji poured water into it. Immediately, the principal surrendered himself at Babaji's feet. He became a faithful devotee at Babaji's service since then. Now we shall discuss the various miracles performed by Babaji. Babaji never stayed in one place continuously. He kept establishing various ashrams like Dhanadoria Ashram in Raniket, Kadghariya in Haldwani, Kurpal Ashram in Nainital, Siddh Ashram in Sheetalkhet and Chedo Ashram in Almora. To restore faith in spirituality, Babaji often displayed his spiritual siddhis. He would concurrently give darshan to his disciples located in different parts of the world. Babaji even restored the lives of the dead by just sprinkling water on them. People of Haida Khan still recall stories of Babaji which they heard from their grandparents as a legacy. One such miracle was Babaji performed meditation while sitting on top of a flaming pyre. He would sit calmly for several hours and step out untouched by the flames. People never saw him consuming grains or water. Babaji would not sleep nor gossip and not attend nature's call. Due to Babaji's miraculous behaviors, he achieved names like Shiv Baba, Muni Baba, Mahamunindra, Thrayambak Baba, etc. People of that region claim that Babaji left his mortal body due to natural conditions on 14 February 1984. 
His people buried his body in the Hydakan Ashram in Uttarakhand. However, Babaji's followers still believe that Babaji is immortal and can give darshan to his sincere devotees. The greatness of such sages is that they relieve the common man of their sins through their teachings. Please watch our video Top 5 Spiritual Teachings of Ramakrishna Paramahamsa Ramakrishna Paramahamsa Teachings on Bhakti to enhance your knowledge. People who saw or even heard Babaji became free from all kinds of sins. Such was the greatness of Sri Haida Khan Wale Baba.